Okay, it looks like we need to zip back to the Commonwealth. And of course, we'll have to look at a robo brain for a little bit here. I thought brains had gray matter, and that's very much pink matter, but of course, once you dunked it in a tank of some kind of jello for two centuries, saying it's all bets are off. That is one of the creepier aspects of the whole game, if you really think about it. Okay, so now we need to jet over and help out the Abernathys again, which should be a case of fast travel, watch stuff explode, collect uh, any kind of debris that's left over that might be useful, dump it in their workshop, and move on to the next thing. Maybe get a like from uh, from Curie on this, as we're helping people, you know, it's, we're being helpful. We stared a lightning gun, which I was not impressed with, I gotta say. It's not compared to other weapons. You know, see, it's just all with the guns, kind of. I believe you're supposed to file a police report, yes? And all the little things going in baggies for evidence. You're so cute. Turn off my light. Oh, no. Let's clean up quickly here. Yeah, there we go. Light, you know, rad storm. These people just hang out like, oh yeah, it's... My grandpa said rad storm is good for your shinies. Well, my fruits... You can't really do much with those. Now, there was some stuff getting blasted to crap over here. Alright, this is just a... Yeesh. I do dislike this, even though... Whoa! What the heck's going on up here? That's not... that's not my guns. Oh! It is, technically. That's, um... That's Jezebel, as I recall, isn't it? Jezebel shooting at. Look, let's let's go up here. Not one of my better settlements. This was put together just to meet the numbers. At the time it was really cool, but yeah. Of course, you sleep for a couple hours, and you don't get any more rads, and uh, life should be pretty when you're done. Yeah, look at this. It's all pretty. Let's see. Now, I've kind of been debating about what I'm going to do with Curie here as far as the railroad is concerned, because one of the few things you can get a love out of her for is when you're talking with the railroad, and they say, you know, what you might call it? They say, "Oh, you know, you, you guess if you defend the freedom of sense, you love them." Um, even though she more leans towards the Brotherhood of Steel, I guess. Um, but for whatever reason, that's you know. But once you get to the point where you know she needs to get her new body, then those loves and likes don't count. And I think we're you know, I think we're there. I think we're almost there. So you know, I'd have to get her the new body and then go meet the railroad. And there's a whole trick there. It's actually easier for you if you go and get her a new body before you meet the railroad, because then the person who's supposed to be taking care of her is caretaker instead of glory. And glory argues with you over it, but caretaker is supposed to do whatever. 
And, uh, but there's, I guess, some glitched out stuff there where did Glory pretend she was there later on. It's like, it's, they only didn't do two versions for Glory. Hey. Do you need something from me? Let's see if it's ready. I need to ask you something. Is now a better time to converse? I have some time. I've spent much effort gathering information in our travels so far, and my cell diagnostics have come to a green conclusion. It is not lack of data or lack of collaboration which stifles my scientific progress. The inescapable truth is there has never been a great robot scientist. Perk her up. Well, perk her up. I'm sure your research isn't that bad. You are polite to say this, but if something does not change, my efforts will be mere stagnation. The greatest scientific minds of history the Einsteins and the Curies, my namesake, have had something beyond raw data analysis capabilities. They have had a spark. This elusive inspiration is something I must possess. If there's a way you can do that, you should. In fact, I must. If I am to advance my understanding of medicine in this strange world, I must embark on a great adventure. I must become human. Or as close as I can. I must find a way to download all that I am into a human brain. Uh, Dr. Amari, obviously, you know. Is that possible is an interesting kind of thing, but let's let's just do this. Because I know that's possible. I know someone who might be able to help. Dr. Amari. Please, then we must go to her and talk. Perhaps this is an impossibility, but it must be pursued. How does she know it's a her? Doctor, I didn't, you know. Good neighbor, yeah. Yeah, good neighbor. Let's go to good neighbor. Head down a good, hey, they're friendly with me, a good neighbor. I'm... Um, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. No, I didn't get paid for that. No. Why would they, really? Oh, can we see the old State House? Maybe they have the tourist brochure. <laughs> okay, the memory den. Been talk about Vault 81. Some problem there you were caught up in? Quarantine or some such? Damn, you get around. <laughs> the memory den's great. Just don't get hooked like old Kent. Poor bastard's practically stuck in the past. <laughs> old Kent. Good old Kent. Now, you know, if you're your character, or you, you're probably not thinking synth at this point. You're probably thinking, maybe there's a human and we can do something really warped. Okay, let's see, where is Dr. Amari? Hello. Excuse us. Where is the downstairs? We're going to get downstairs. Come on, where is the downstairs? Yeah, I don't come here very often. Aha, uh -huh, here we go. We can. Doctor, my friend here needs your help. Oh? I'm not a mechanic. What could she possibly want from me? Greetings, Doctor. I wish to download my data and core programming into a human brain. You. you want what? Is she serious? Curie has a lot of pre war research data. But she can't continue her important work as a robot. Why not? There are fundamental limitations in my robotic systems. I have no capacity for the human trait of inspiration. I've never considered anything like you're proposing. It's an interesting problem. The memories wouldn't be hard. We translate those from the brain to computers and back all the time here. It's how the loungers work. Her personality, though, all the extra pieces of robotic program decision making? A normal organic brain wouldn't know what to do with them. A synth brain, on the other hand, 
Well, it's already somewhere between the two. You're not suggesting... I won't kill a synth. I'm suggesting nothing of the kind. Allow me to explain. I've worked on synths before. Giving them memory wipes so they can live a life free of the Institute. But the procedure isn't always successful. If something goes wrong, it can leave them in a brain-dead state. Living, but with no cognition. I know a caretaker for one of these brain-dead synths. If they're willing, we could try transferring your friend's consciousness into her. I'd like to try. We just need her caretaker's consent. Give me a day to get in contact with them. They're understandably cautious, but I think they'll hear me out. I will stay with the doctor. Assuming all goes well, I want to be ready for the procedure. The caretaker should get back to me soon. She's not one to wait. Yeah, I'll be interested to see. Do they give me glory or do they give me caretaker? Let's see, can we find some place to sit for a dude for a third day? Yeah, there. Coffee pot. That is some, some crampy places to hang out here, but I'll tell you. So in this door. So there's a place we can sit. You'd think we could sit. Apparently we can't sit. Well, maybe I should just go off and run some water here and then come back. Huh, I'm wearing dirty army fatigues and I've got regular army fatigues. I'll perk myself up a little bit. Oh, well, that's kind of a nice look until I put on my uh, new clean fatigues. Let's see. Uh, look a little better. A little better look. Ooh, we have completed. Wait for the caretaker. Now we just have to talk to Dr. Amari. I'll just dump the water off here. What the heck? We'll transfer. That's what I'm making pretty much every time around there. So we'll just dump that off here. Get back to good neighbor. Yeah. At some point we'll have to... I don't know if I ever bought the, um, the Overseer's uh, Guardian. You know, the two-shot rifle. I'll have to try. Is that supposed to be a really powerful weapon, too? I'll have to go back down there and take a little bit of water and get that. But first, back to the memory man. Hey, not too close, Mr. Tough Guy. You know you love it. Down here. Again, find the steps. Okay, so you walk in here, girls, 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 what's going on there? Da, 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 da. Yeah, nope, not that way. Here we go. You're the one that wants to use G519's body? I. I just don't have the caps to keep her alive anymore. Life support ain't easy or cheap, you know? I was gonna pull the plug on her. What you're proposing sounds a little better. Better than letting her rot. What do you think she would have wanted? Damned if I know. It's not like I even knew her before. Hmm. Since G5 has no one else. But what it's worth... You have my consent. Thank you. I know this must be difficult. Yeah. I'll leave you to it. Curie. Let's begin. Curie. Terminate all That's just caretaker, operations. okay. All right. Connection complete. I have access to your friend's memories. 
G5's already been prepped, so this shouldn't take long. Yes, there. <gasps> I... I... my chest... what is happening? Just breathe. It's an autonomic function. Just let your body do what it must. I... I feel... I feel so strange. Listen to me. Can you hear me? What is your name? My designation is Contagions Vulnerability Robotic Infirmary Engineer. Or Curie. You had me worried there. Do not concern yourself. I feel better now. Good. Very good. Now let's test some cognitive functions. What is one plus two? Three. If I threw a baseball at your head, what would you do? Uh, move. Think of a strong memory. The first that comes to mind. Tell me about it. <sighs> Dr. Barrow was very old. He was the last living scientist in my section of Vault 81. He was on his bed, very weak. He said to me, Curie, you must... And he died before he finished the sentence. Oh, my insights feel peculiar. What is that? You might be feeling grief for a friend. This unit has no friends, but there. My chest is tightening when I think of poor Dr. Borrow. The operation appears successful. But I think it will take a lot of adjustment for your new friend. She may need your help to make the transition. Thank you, Doctor, for this opportunity. All oh, my systems are eager to absorb new data. I find this traveling agrees with me. Dr. Amari. Be careful of the radiation. The glowing sea isn't a place to be caught unprepared. Oh yeah, we're still she's still involved with the glowing sea thing. So there we go. That's how you do it. It's not that hard to do. Now we've got Curie um, as a synth, a humanoid synth thing going here, as opposed to just a robot. She is romanceable if you uh, get her to the point where she likes you that much. And uh, like so, now it's an interesting thing. Uh, apparently later on when you meet Glory, Glory treats it like she was the actual caretaker for this particular synth. And uh, the, the, from what I've read, unless they fixed it, they've been doing a lot of patching, so we'll see uh, what happens. But apparently it's oh, hard... another physician. Tell me, where did you go to university? University? You're not serious, right? Okay, I think we should get her out of here before... Apparently it's harder to talk Glory into it, so if you can do this before you, uh... Oh, look at this. Check it out. I think it's in Beaker. I have so much data on the world before the atom bombs. I fear I may have to delete some of it to store my new observations. She's still talking like a robot. Good neighbor. So like I said, it's supposed to be hard to talk Glory into it. I maxed out my charisma, so I probably could have done it that way anyway. But at least now, when we finally go and meet the uh, meet the railroad, I'll get an extra love that out of it. And we'll go on to the next thing. You probably need a new outfit, though. We gotta get you some armor and stuff. But on that note, this isn't a bad look. Here we are in Good Neighbor. This is the Black Knight. Have a great night. Okay, so I guess I guess we just have a cow on the roof now. That's like a thing. <laughs>